the National Artist of the Philippines. Who is DCH Avellana? Daisy Hontiveros Avellana was named the National Artist of the Philippines for theater in 1999. She is a writer, director, and actress. She was born on January 26, 1917 in Rojas City, Capiz. Her nationality is Filipino. She was the first Master of Arts in Literature student and graduate of University of Santo Tomas. Daisy Avellana married Lamberto Avellana, a film and stage director who was also given the name a national artist in 1976. Daisy and Lamberto Avellana co-founded the Barangay Theatre Guild in 1939 with 48 colleagues. Daisy Hontiveras Avellana died on May 12, 2013 at the age of 96. She originated in several places including Othello, 1953, Macbeth in Black, 1959, Casa de Bernarda Alba, 1967, and Tatarin. Daisy H. Avellana is best known as the lead of Candida Marasigan in Nick Joaquin's Portrait of the Artist as Filipino, both on stage and in film. Jago Silang 1968 and Walang Sugat 1971 are among her directorial credits. Sakai 1939 and Portrait of the Artist as Filipino were two of her screenplays 1955. What's her philosophy? For Daisy H. Avellana's philosophy, she also directed aside from performing. Avellana deeply promoted the professionalization of Filipino theater and inspired the proliferation of theater groups in our country. With that, it brought theater and dramatic arts to a new level of excellence. She elevated the Philippine theater scene for four decades now, since from the 30s up to the 70s. She staged and then performed in breakthrough productions of classic Filipino and foreign plays. It encouraged the professionalization of Filipino theater. What are the style of her artworks? For the style of her work, by producing and playing in revolutionary performances of traditional Filipino and international pieces, as well as fostering the formation of performing organizations and the development of professional Filipino theater, Aveliana raised professional dramatic and theater arts to a new level of achievement. What are the significance and legacy of her art in the Philippine art scene? Daisy Avellana proved that being the first lady of Philippine theater need not presume a leader to stand by and support, and that living for the theater can be enough to sustain one through a life of crisis. When his husband Lamberto died from a suspected aneurysm, Daisy continued the work of Barangay Theater Guild in honor of her deceased husband. Scheduling readings and small performances for some institution like FEU. But the most invaluable legacy that Daisy may yet be credited is the marriage of civility, humor, and discipline in a craft that is all too often practiced thoughtlessly today. Despite her age at that time, she still managed to show her love at the theater guild. Here are some of the interviews about D.C. Avellana from NCAA Philippines Sagisag Cultura TV. Si uh, D.C. Antiveros Avellana naman is actually uh, married to an Avellana of, uh, from Iloilo. Si uh, D.C. Antiveros Avellana naman is known more for uh, street theater. It's parang stage than musical theater. I felt that D.C. was the ep epitome of when you say Daisy Avellana, you are also are referring to Avellana, the director. Ang imahe niya sa akin para siyang isang guro na kailangan lagi kang tama ang ginagawa mo, uh, handa ka sa anuman. Kasi pag hindi, pupunahin at pupunahin ka. Hindi ka, hindi ka pwedeng basta-basta na lamang o yung sinasabi nga natin na, na, na 
ethics, ethics ka lang. Ano? Kailangan kung oras ng trabaho, oras ng paghahanda para sa produksyon, nakahanda kang gawin kung ano yung dapat gawin, kung anong inaasahan na, na, na produksyon mula sa'yo. Momentary clip of her most known for her role as Candida Marisigan in Nick Joaquin's portrait of the artist as Filipino. One word to describe Daisy Hontiveros Avellana. Professional. Spectacular. Outstanding. Remarkable. Amazing. 